Sapien. Commencing attack. Okay, fire at will. Your targeting indicator will signal when an enemy is in range.
We'll take care of the fighters, and the turrets will focus their fire on the battleship's weak points. I'm getting fired! Looks like half the weak points have been destroyed. Now don't start slacking. Numerous shields down. Need covering fire. This is Noah from the Escort. Impressive work, Gunner. Not bad for a rookie. We have a spare Oberon down in the docking bay. As you may have noticed, my wingman position just opened up. I need someone in the cockpit. Right. Welcome to the squadron. Your position is three starboard. Hurry up and get down to hangar two. I'll see you outside. This is Stellar Fox News. As reported recently, a serious incident has taken place near Clave. The attack destroyed the colony ship Medea and caused the death of more than 3,000 colonists. While passing near the Clave satellite Liawee, the convoy of ships came under fire from squadrons of Jad Baron fighters. The attack was obviously thoroughly planned out. The ships were only attacked after they had entered the high radiation field around the Star of Clave, which prevents interstellar radio communication. Rumors have been rife for weeks that the Jad Baron might have a base in Clave's atmosphere, or on one of its larger moons. There is much speculation on the effect this incident will have on the upcoming Council, and how the two opposing powers will react. Both the Tai and the Genites have stationed several large warships within sight of the Spire. The Council itself will be attended by a Thai delegation led by Ambassador Mirivoy, a Genite delegation led by Senator Amos Litherin, and a Sapiens delegation led by Admiral-designate Jaranjira. This is the first time in over 80 years that a Sapiens has held such high office. Although some, particularly the Thai, claim that Jira is just a Genite puppet, a mission from the Uranier Church of the Keeper is also expected to arrive sometime today. It will be led by Todor Sisto Zyrapaten, who says he wants to discuss a revelation of truly monstrous proportions. The tragedy of the Medea is bound to create tension between the factions before the historic meeting has even started. This is Lavina 5 for Stellar Vox Veritas. Hold your position at the Dion until we are docked to the Spire. We can take a break after that. This is the Spire Orbital Station. Welcome to our idyllic new colony, Trilon. Enjoy the sunrises and the breathtaking views of the planet while we orbit it at a height of 2,000 kilometers. Admire the nimbus, the shimmering ring of ice asteroids that makes this world unique. The 
to our relaxation and recreation zones to enjoy gravity, a life under an open sky, and clean, clear air. Spire leaves nothing to be desired. Do you see the Genite carrier docking on the Spire? That's the Sebulon, one of the most modern ships of its generation. Compared to it, our colony ships look like they're from the Stone Age. Over on one to Spire Station. I'm picking up a scrambled signal from the Sebulon. That's strange. An ultra-modern technological juggernaut, but the comm system is fracked. Explosion on the Sebulon! I see fighter squadrons leaving the Sebulon. Solo stunts will not be tolerated. Return to your position. Damn it! They're opening fire! Noah to Oberon Wing. Return fire! This is the Sebulon. They You've got one on your tail. Try to dodge his fire! The Sebulon's on a collision course with the Spire! It's going to collide with the station! Get out of here! Be around now! Get out of there before the shockwave gets you! Try to get your ship under control! You're headed straight for the Nimbus! 